Dead gum. It looks like I'll just have to do one more for tonight. There's several more I want to do, but due to time constraints, just one more video for tonight. How you doing? It's Mr. DJ uh, outsourcing Billboard's Top 100 of February 16, 1957. Now, how about that? A lost 45. This is not a rock and roll record. There are some rock and roll records on this Top 100. I mentioned them in a previous one of them in a previous video. Let me bring it up for you real quick. Uh, if I can, if I can find it, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> Girl Can't Help It, Help It by Lil Richard's on here. And uh, got several by Elvis Presley. And uh, my goodness, I'm trying to. And of course, uh, the, the, the number one hit off this uh, Hot 100. I'm trying to navigate this website. This is not Billboard's website. This is another website called www.americanradiohistory.com archived billboards. And they got all these billboards, the actual billboards, not just the top 100, but the Hot 100. But uh, we got Young Love by Tab Hunter at number one. Betty Johnson's I Dreamed at number thir at number 12. But the song I want to talk to you about, my goodness I, I, I it's already down it peaked at number 41 almost made it to the top 40 but then didn't, didn't quite get, get there is that uh, group from England three girls from England three women from England uh, light entertainment uh, green sleeves at, it's down from 62 to 74 after it peaked at number 41 Beverly sisters uh, three sisters two of them were twins joy Babs and Teddy, Babs and Teddy, they were the twin sisters, dealing mostly with light entertainment for the most part. They were on the early, some of the early BBC television programs going back into the 40s. As a matter of fact, they met Glenn Miller before he disappeared. And guess what happened? Glenn Miller offered them a chance to record with this orchestra. Apparently it didn't work out or something, or maybe they turned it down, but that would be something worth investigating right there, why they turned it down. Nonetheless, they had some success in the 50s, basically with Christmas records. They hit it really big. I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, which went to number six in England in 1953 uh, during the Christmas season, and then they came back six years later with The Little Drummer Boy. That went to number six in England in 1959. Christmas season at 1959. Now, uh, Green Sleeves, I uh, read a little bit about it. So, tr traditional folk records, going back to the 16th century, one interpretation of it is a, of this record is about a promiscuous woman. Of course, you had to be careful with that sort of thing back in the 50s, big time. But uh, the, the, one of the original interpretations of it was a woman who uh, her dress was green because it had grass stains on it. The grass stains coming from having, um, well, you know, kind of whoopy, whoopy session outdoors. And uh, that's where the green sleeves came from. But <laughs> I got the lyrics. The lyrics, not very many lyrics to this. Uh, I walked one day neath the summer sky and my heart was young and alone was I. He came along and I fancied I heard the beautiful, beautiful music of green sleeves. He held my hand, happiness complete, and we kissed that night as we vowed to meet. The promises that he made were sweet, just as sweet as the music of green sleeves. Okay, maybe they sanitized it a little bit, I don't know. But anyway, lovely record, though, the Beverly Sisters. Kind of like the McGuire Sisters. Remember the McGuire Sisters? Coming in at number, let me bring that up again. Number, <laughs> I got so many uh, tabs up on this computer. Number 74, down from 62, it is the Beverly Sisters with green sleeves, a lost 45 for Billboard's Top 100, February the 16th, 1957.